Now, in order to find the equation that we can use to compute skewness quantitatively, we're going to introduce the concept of central moments. And these are equations that describe the distribution of points about the mean. So it looks at deviations from the mean. The first central moment is just the sum of deviations from the mean. We've already seen this, and that is uh, in looking at the properties of the mean. And we know that the first central moment always equals 0. Now, the second sec central moment is the sum of the square deviations. We've seen this before from the variance equation, where we saw that the variance is equal to the sum of the square deviations over n minus 1, at least in the sample case. So we use the, central, the second central moment to calculate variance. And we're going to use the third central moment, the sum of the cubed deviations from the mean, to, to calculate the skewness equation. So here, the skewness statistic, which we're going to call, uh, well, let's call it SK, so that we don't confuse it with the standard deviation. Um, the the skewness uh, statistic is the sum of the cube deviations divided by N, which is the sample size, S, which is the standard deviation, and we're going to cube the standard deviation. So the bottom portion of this uh, of this fraction is just there to standardize our values, put it into a range that we that we like. But really, the skewness, the sign of the skewness, is going to be determined by the by the top part. And actually, let me go into that a little bit further. We can see that the sign of the denominator will always be a positive value. The denominator will always be positive because it's the product of two positive things. n is positive, and the standard deviation is always positive. So we've got a positive times a positive, and the positive is cubed, so it's a few positives all multiplied together. But the bottom is always going to be a positive number. But let's look at the top. When xi is greater than x bar, we're going to have that xi minus x bar is positive and the cube of that will also be positive. But on the other hand, if xi is less than x bar, so if we have values, uh, if, the val if xi is below the mean, then we're going to have this as a negative value, and the cube of that will also be negative. So when we have more values below the mean than above the mean, the sum of all the cubed deviations is also going to be negative, and therefore, we're going to have some negative skew. If, on the other hand, we have more values above the mean, if xi is greater than x bar for more value, when we sum up these cubed deviations, the sum is more likely going to be a positive number, and therefore skewness would be positive. 